Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to recognize, firstly, the elected members of parliament who are here with us tonight, the distinguished officers of the executive of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party and her sister organization, the St. Kitts Nevis Trades and Labour Union. I wish for you to recognize as well His Excellency, Sir Edmund Lawrence and Lady Lawrence, our former Governor General and First Lady. Our distinguished ambassadors who are here and members of the diplomatic corps. I want to thank and recognize in recognizing all those who have sponsored this event tonight, the premier New Year Gala event of 2018. And in doing so, I wish for you to all recognize our distinguished guest who has come all the way from Jamaica to speak to us in this New Year Grand Gala 2018. I want you to give a rousing applause to the Honorable Lisa Rene Hanna. who is not only presently serving as an elected member of the Jamaican Parliament, but is also a former Miss World. A former Miss Jamaica. And if you were to look at her tonight, I'm sure that if the authorities would allow her to compete again, in another Miss World or Miss Jamaica pageant, she definitely would be in the runnings to win. She has come to us because we believe that at this time in our development as a country, as a people and as a party, it is necessary from time to time to bring personalities with global experience and reach in order to ensure that we continue to be connected with the rest of the world. That we understand the global issues that confront us on a daily basis. And for us to know that we are not immune at all from what is happening outside around us. That is why when we reflect on what has transpired over the last 12 months in the outgoing year, we are reminded of the trauma that has been caused by global phenomena like climate change global warming. We experience here in the Caribbean and in St. Kitts and Nevis two major hurricanes. And it is only by the blessings of God that we would have been sheltered and protected from the viciousness of those disasters. Not only therefore do we recognize the natural forces that are around us, some of which have been as a result of disturbance by man himself. But in our country over the last 12 months, we have experienced challenges and trauma as well. 
our young people continue to fall victims to violence. Our security forces continue to do their best and exercise their efforts to bring this monster under control, but it continues unabated. We recognize the incompetence of those who are in authority in the management of the affairs of our country. We hear on a daily basis, things are hard. Things are not what they used to be before. Opportunities that abounded in the past three, four, five years, they are no longer there. The economy continues to be in decline. Yes, minimal growth, significantly reduced from a 7% GDP growth of three, four years ago to a mere 2% of today. The state of our health sector needs to be overhauled immediately. As someone said recently, health is in the ICU. And so we need to take it from the ICU, give it life and energy, as we would want to do overall with the economy and other sectors here in St. Kitts and Nevis. That is why this gala is important. Because it is intended to ensure that we can lift ourselves. We can look towards the future with hope, aspiring that things would change. Asking that there be continued protection and shelter from continued deterioration here in St. Kitts and Nevis. And that is why those who thought of symbolically demonstrating the need for shelter and protection by identifying an umbrella to be your gift when you would have left here is again a significant demonstration that our people are crying out for shelter and protection from the viciousness of these times and they are asking that labor would return. I challenge you tonight that there is hope in our future. St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party has spent an enormous amount of time reorganizing itself, training those who we believe need to be given frontline training as our main actors and architects. We have gone through a process of candidate selection through a new body that was created called the Candidate Selection Advisory Committee, which takes its root and its agenda from the constitution of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. And this is because we want to demonstrate that there is a seriousness about this organization in returning St. Kitts and Nevis to the heights that it used to be mere four, five years ago. And so I challenge you to recognize that there is a fundamental change that is going to come. I challenge our young people in particular, become actively engaged in the process. Register yourselves as electors. Become involved in the party of the people. 
I call upon those who are in business to join with us as we have reached out to you. And we are saying here that just as we partnered with you over the last nearly 20 years of building this country, so too we want to emphasize that the partnership will continue on the labor and move our country to unprecedented heights that we've never seen before. I ask our public servants to continue to have hope, whole strain. I know a number of you are abandoning the government at this time in terms of the public service. We would need your competence, your experience and your expertise. We would want to lift you up and not allow you to become or continue to become part of the nepotism and cronyism that have visited this country over the last near three years. I challenge those who are our professionals, our doctors, our nurses, our teachers, that there is enough space for you in the new and changed situation that will come over this country in the future. And so again, we thank you. We thank you for your support over the years. We thank you for working with us as a government. We thank you for working with us in opposition. And we thank you for working with us again when we would have returned to office to serve the interest of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. We shall create the energy, the dynamism, the environment. We will reach across borders and boundaries. We would be as, as inclusive as we were before. Because we recognize a government cannot do it alone. It needs investors, it needs developers, it needs businessmen, it needs the church community, it needs the entire nation to move our great country forward. It is with open arms, therefore, that we invite you to be part of our future, a brighter future for St. Kitts and Nevis. And now I ask you to raise your glasses. And if you do not have glasses that are filled with the appropriate beverages, then you would use water. It is safer. And so I ask you firstly to cheers for the new year. Hip hip! I ask you to chair for a better St. Kitts and Nevis. Hip hip! And I ask you to chair for protection and shelter and for advancing yourselves, your businesses, your endeavors, so that there would be profits and wealth that will visit all of us. Hip hip! Thank you very, very much.